This tutorial is to show you how to install Microsoft Visual C++ Express on your computer. In this particular case, I'm installing it to a Microsoft uh, XP Edition, Windows XP Edition. First thing you need to do is you need to open up Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox will probably work best for this operation. If you don't have it, you need you happen to have it, you need to go download it. The link we're going to go to is www.microsoft.com slash express slash downloads. I'll copy that link and I'll paste it into Mozilla. On this page, scroll down until you see Visual C++ 2010 Express. Select English. Say save file. And after it's uh, successfully um, downloaded to your computer, go ahead and double click on it to begin execution setup process. That file itself doesn't contain all the files. This is going to initiate the downloading of many files from Microsoft. So I'll go ahead and say OK. And that should bring you to run this file. And this should start the installation process. Installation process is going to take quite a long time. It may ask you to start and restart your computer several times. I'm going to unclick Yes and Information to Microsoft. I'll click Next here. Um, I'll click Yes. I've read the license and the terms of the agreement. Um, And I'll just go ahead and make sure that I have selected. You may see something about selecting silver light here. If you see silver light, select that. You may also want to select Microsoft SQL 2008 Express Service Pack 1 if you happen to be an MFC. I'll go ahead and select Next. But you only need to do that if you're in my MFC course. Here I'll collect install or select install. Now this is uh, going to take quite a while. Uh, here I show that I'm downloading 68 megs. You may see as many as 150 megs being downloaded to your machine. Again, in this process we may have to start and restart our machine, but if you follow it all the way to the end and follow all the instructions, Microsoft Visual C++ should be installed on your machine. At this particular point, I'm going to pause um, this window and I will skip ahead. Uh, at this particular point, my program is nearing completion of downloading the files from Microsoft. Um, as I said before, depending on how many files you're downloading, it might take uh, considerably longer than this. It may take up to 150 megs. You can speed this up a little bit if you install at Casper College. So at this point uh, we're installing the files. This in itself may take a considerable amount of time. So at this point what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and pause the tutorial again. Again in the process of installing the files, you may have to restart your computer several times for it to actually work, but Microsoft, uh, the Microsoft setup process will tell you to do this. At this particular point, I have successfully installed the uh, program on my computer. There are some instructions for registering this version of Express. This version of Express 2010, Microsoft Visual C, is free, and it is possible to register it. To register it, uh, they give some hints back on the downloads page if you go back to there. So I'll go ahead and I'll go to downloads. And if you click here, they have some instructions how to register this. In a nutshell, if you have a Microsoft account, MSN account, or a Hotmail account, 
if you use your username for your email, your email address, this becomes your name and your password will be whatever your password is set up to be. So all you need to do is go in to um, help uh, the Microsoft Visual Express window and go down to register your uh, software and you should be able to register it. At this particular point, this concludes the installation of Microsoft Visual C++ on your computer.